Alright, hey guys, this is Welcome to another video of Minecraft. And today, I'm going to go over the new snapshot, which is called 15W31A. So, there's a lot to go over in this video, so I'm gonna get started. So, the first thing I will go over is dual wielding. So, if you open your inventory, you can see that there's a new slot. So, basically, you can now hold two things in your hand, which is awesome. So, when you have your torches in that slot, for an example, if, let's say you're out and digging with your pickaxe, then you will want to use your torches. Then, if the tool you're using in your primary hand doesn't have a right click mechanism, then you can right click with a torch. So basically, if you have one thing that you can right click with and the other one you can't right click with, it will use the thing you can right click with. If that makes any sense. So let's say I have a sword in my hand. You can right click with a sword. And you can right click with a torch to place torches. So that doesn't really go together well. So it will prioritize what you have in your main hand. So that could work. So let's press F and that will switch the, the item I hold and my other slot. See? It switches them. And then I can place torches. Easily. And then I can use my sword again, place torches, just pressing. But if you have s s like a pickaxe that doesn't have a right click mechanism, then th you can just right click whenever you want. And that will work. And also you don't have to go into your inventory to put something in your uh, secondary slot. You can just press F and it will go into your secondary slot. And if you want it, if you want it back, you take a empty spot in your inventory and press F again and they will give you it back. I hope I, that wasn't too messy, but I, but I did my best. So the next thing I wanna show you is that there's now new arrows. So, there's now an arrow for every potion effect possible. So you can, for an example, uh, shoot a zombie with, with a potion of harming and will do it will do the the bow damage plus the harming damage so you can get some really overpowered bows here uh, so yes now there's one bow that is unique to all of them which is this new spectrum arrow this is this new spectral arrow so basically if we t take a look here spawn a skeleton and before anything let's look at this skeleton he looks different right he, d he doesn't hold this arrow all the time he will only do that when he sees a player that he wants to shoot so let's break this oh crap so when he sees me you can see he, he just put up his arrow or bow now I want to show you this uh, spectral arrow so when you shoot them you can see that they get an outline so when shot with that you can see them behind walls now this is, as you can see here, mostly intended for PvP. It's not gonna be so much useful for mobs. At least that's what Jeb said. And as you can see, the arrows look have a very uh, strange look. Now let's say you have more than one type of arrow. So here I have my spectral arrow, and here is my potion of strength. But like, what arrow will it choose? It will prioritize the arrow that is in your uh, hot bar. So if I change this, will it, it will shoot the the poison harming harming arrow. But if I change it like this, so that is in my hotbar, it will prioritize that. So that's how that works. And I also think that if you have uh, more arrows in here, it will go f basically from from left to right. I think it is. Also, there is now a a potion for uh, water, uh, fire resistance, and potion of leaping. Actually, fire resistance was already, I think, why was that there? But yeah, there's now a potion for f for leaping, so that's a thing. That was not a thing before, but now it is. Next thing I want to show you is that you can now do grass paths, and you can basically do them with any shovel by right-clicking regular grass. Very simple. Uh, it's basically to create paths. I, I would personally prefer gravel. I don't really like the look of this, but if you don't have anything else, then it's pretty cool. It looks nice. So the next thing we have here is that you can now plant beets. So there are beetroot seeds, and the way you get them is basically by uh, by tilling the ground. Is 
how it explained it. Um, it's basically you uh, destroy grass, um, and then you have a a chance of one out of fifteen, which is thirty percent more rare than regular seeds. So when they uh, are planted and they grow up, they turn into this, and you can break these, and you get uh, beetroot, and you get uh, the seeds as well, so they can plant them over again. So th this beetroot will only give you one hunger bar. So what you can do with it is you can craft stew. So the way you do that is by that you need six uh, beet roots and a bowl and you will get that which recovers three hunger bars. So it is worth uh, crafting it. Uh, soup so now over to the stuff they will add in in the end now i have already made a video of this when they showed it on minecon and i basically wrapped up everything they had done in a i think it was a six or seven minutes video so you can go watch that later if you want to if you want to get a bit of a better look at this so first up we have shulkers uh, they deal two hearts of damage they sh basically shoot out uh, let's see here if we can get it to yeah, as you can see, and he will shoot that at me and it will give me a levitation effect. Which, the bad part about that is that it will make me fall and I will take fall damage. So, let's not do that, I still have the levitation effect. But as you can see, there's a, in the top right corner, it actually shows you the effect. So that's what it does in the new update. And the effects on the top are the the good one and the ones on the bottom is bad effects and they will start blinking when they start to run out. So after beating the ender dragon you will be basically be able to go to this uh, infinite end and there will be plenty of this which is called chorus plants and this will give you a uh, chorus fruit. Okay, so let's break these. And this gives me coarse fruit. And uh, you can basically eat this. So let's do that. And they will region hunger. The weird part a bit about this is that they teleport you, as you could see right there. So, kind of weird. But they do restore hunger and you can plant, replant these. Now you can only replant them on end stone. And so in the expanded end, you can find these uh, end cities. And these dungeons are built with these, I think. And uh, you can basically, from these course plants, you can, uh, I think you put these in a furnace and they will give you popped cores. And with these you can craft a purple block like this. And that gives you that. And with those blocks you can craft slabs, stairs and all that. So more decoration blocks. Also, now with the end stone, you can actually uh, craft craft uh, this block, whatever it's called, which is an end stone brick, and you craft them with four uh, end stones like that, and it will give you four uh, end stone bricks. So also at these uh, dungeons that are in the end, you can find these, which you can, which uh, they give light, I think as much as a regular torch, and you can place them anyway, even down on a ceiling. And as you can see, they actually t connect if you uh, put them on the side. But if you, you can't make them longer than two blocks, then it will just restart like that. Also, something weird I noticed with chests is that you hold them a little bit differently. It looks weird. Is, it, is that just me? So as you can see here, they have also added these uh, dragon heads. I don't really know how you get them. But uh, something funny about them is that you can power them and they do this. Uh, and they actually, so that you can like have it in the open mouth and a closed mouth, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I made this. It's 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 basically beautiful. But alright, so that was pretty much it. So if you want to see more, a little bit more details about the end, new end stuff, I have a dedicated video to that. So that's why I didn't really show this in the end. So watch that video. I'm also going to make a video where I get some gear and I go in and explore the new dungeons in the end. So uh, subscribe to see that video uh, upcoming. And uh, so yeah. All right, so there was a lot of information that I wanted to uh, tell you in a very short amount of time. So I hope it turned out good. If you think so, then leave a like to show that you liked it and you can subscribe to see more of my videos. And yes, 
My name is Islam Alison. Next video. Mm -hmm.